Time Magazine has a Person of the Year announced just this week. So why shouldn't you also have a Person of the Year? Especially this year, given who Time Magazine chose. Yes, German Chancellor Angela Merkel bested seven other finalists to be Time's Person of the Year. Who else is on the list, you might ask? Well, coming in second and third were ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and Republican presidential contender Donald Trump. The two of those gentlemen, use that word a little loosely, were followed by the Black Lives Matter activists, transgender personality and advocate Caitlyn Jenner, Russian leader Vladimir Putin, Iranian President Rouhani, and Uber CEO Travis Kalanick. Now, the other four probably a lot of debate about, but I think most people when asked who has, and this is the measure that time uses, affected the world for good or ill most this year, are saying ISIS and ISIS's leader al-Baghdadi or Donald Trump are way ahead of Angela Merkel. In fact, even sitting and listening to the staff of Time Magazine explain why they went with Merkel as their choice, it's hard not to feel they're running away from two other characters, each of whom in their own way represents something so negative that the magazine didn't want to turn attention to them, and instead went with the person who they support most, even if that person doesn't meet the measure of having the greatest impact. But if Time Magazine can do it, why can't you? Why can't all of us? So I would invite you this week to think about who is your person of the year. And do it in both the classic Time way and in the way they seem to have done it this year. The classic way is, who do you think has had the greatest impact on the world this year, for good or for bad, and why? And I would even encourage you to be in touch with me. I would love to hear what your thoughts are about this. And you can get in touch with me at thewisdomdaily.com. The other thing is to think about who has had the greatest impact on your world. Not the world in general, but your world. And here I would also follow Time Magazine. Since they went with what they consider to be positive impact, ask yourself the same question. Who has been your person of the year who, like Merkel, has opened things up even when others argued for shutting them down? Who exercised leadership and spoke truth to power as other people may have been more reticent about doing, but done so in a way that has the kind of strength and dignity which have been the hallmark of this German chancellor who is nicknamed Mutti, Mother. Who has been the person of your year in those kinds of positive ways? And then, be like Time Magazine. Think about acknowledging them. It's amazing how much it will not only make them feel good, but how empowering and how much it will make you feel good for being able to give out your own Person of the Year award. Try it and see.